first before I uh, before it falls off. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Ken Andrew Daly, and I'm back. I'm back at it with those my stream capping. Why? Why does it give me that error? <laughs> Manual is better than nothing. Daily, you're still you're still live. Am I still live? Yeah. Am I live on the YouTube's? Yeah, I'm watching you live. That's crazy. Cause it does not look that way with me. <laughs> All right. Still live. Cool. Um, since I'm live and I don't know how I'm not like, it is okay. Every time that I start these live streams, something goes wrong. And it's so bad. It sucks. Anyways, what's up everybody? Carlos, what's good? I see you. Uh, making a light or making a long sleeve right now in the flesh. What's up, M Mario? Is it Ma Mateo. M Matt? Mateo. 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 Is that how you say it? Mateo? Mateo? <laughs> how you doing? Uh, what's good? I got something exciting to explain on the live stream. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Because I don't even know if I can hear myself. <laughs> Real talk. Uh, I have exciting news. Because I've been saving up for an embroidery machine for a minute. And your boy finally got one. It's, it's time. I'm about to make an unboxing video. I feel like it's been a long time coming. Let me move all this like computer stuff away. situated you know what I'm saying anyways that's not getting situated at all let's move all this so um let's push this back I got a rotary machine I'm really happy I'm really happy about it it's like a change of pace change of pace I can't wait to uh, work with it so I'm gonna be making a long sleeve here is the fabric go. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Stream is good. <laughs> it was sub dipped in indigo. How you doing? Um, yeah, I, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm trying to multitask. But right now, I'm going to actually move the sewing machine. So let's push this back. Ooh. Push this back. Push this back. It's going to be working with this material. It's like a it's like a woven knit. I know it's kind of past that time of the year, but I always think ahead. I don't think that um, we can never get prepared, especially with what's going on. Uh, now it just gives you like a, a greater reason to be prepared for whatever. Love watching your videos. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be making more videos now. Now that I have an embroidery machine, I'm gonna be messing with that in a little bit. I feel like that's the, like the spring or the um, thing that I need to get going. Cause I feel like I've been in such a, like, I don't know. I feel like I've just been kind of not really bored of sewing. I just wanted to try something different, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm trying to give it a shot and give it a go. I need an embroidery machine so bad. Yo, that was me when I figured out my, my sewing machine right now has like little, like a little to no, well, I guess you can say it's like a significant amount of embroidery options. Like I can do lettering with my embroidery machine, but it's not like clean. Exactly. Yeah, it's not, it's not as clean. But yeah, you should just go for it. I don't, I don't see why not. What's stopping you? Well, I guess there's a lot of things stopping us right now, especially with what's going on in the world. But that's why we got sewing. That's why we're making these clothes. Oh, shoot. All right. So what we got here, I just did the shoulder seams. I'm pinning them together. Add a little, uh, little 
need an action there. Let me push this down so is it, this is going to just poke me in the end. I know it. Don't you need that when you're uh, sewing and <laughs> it just pokes you? So I'm going to put this over here. All right, next up, we're going to be working on the sleeve. So with the sleeve, what I usually like doing first is I like hemming the ends. Uh, let's move my, uh, somehow move my cables here. It's just coming and attacking me. Hey, congrats on getting your, your embroidery machine. You know what? Thank you. Because uh, that feedback that I was getting from people as far as the sewing machine suggestions, it was like, it was surreal because like I was just like, how the heck do I know what machine to get? And you guys came clutch. What I'm waiting on is some thread. I don't want to do a video on it until I have all of the stuff that I ordered with my embroidery machine. Usually I would go to like a shop to get my stuff, but I felt like it was a, uh, it was well needed for me to order the stuff just cause, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's the only thing that most, most shops around me, their, their hours are so limited. And from my understanding, those shops themselves have uh, older people and you just want to keep yourself a little distant from people right now just because of what's going on. I don't know. It was really tricky. Like it was like, whoa, that scared me. Um, it was a little tricky because I, I don't know. I, <laughs> sorry guys, I got distracted for a second. It was difficult on where I was going to buy this machine because like I want to support local, but at the same time, like there's just like so many factors. So I just, I don't know. It was just difficult, but I got the machine. I turned it on. It works. I'm excited. I'm excited to uh, show you guys the uh, machine. That video is going to be actually coming out soon. I'm going to start uploading regular content on my YouTube channel. Wow, that's nuts. <laughs> that's nuts for me to say. Oh wait, where is my other sleeve? So here's my one sleeve. Is this my other sleeve? This is my other sleeve. Let's throw that there. Hey, what's up, Nancy? Thank you for coming to the stream. I'm being noisy, but which machine model did you get? I decided to uh, I decided to go with the P Brother PE800, give it a shot. I've never got a Brother machine before, um, but hey, I give it a shot, you know. I don't know how far I'm going to get into this, this piece here, this long sleeve, but I'm going to give it a shot and Get it going. Okay. okay. You guys are wondering how I'm having this. It's I'm guesstimating. <laughs> That's what I decided to go with. Apparently, it's a really popular. That's really popular and well received, well received machine. Yeah, I, I mean that was like, that was mainly the feedback I got from people was giving suggestions to try that as a, like a starter machine, and then if I want to get like even more serious with embroidery, to, you know, look into of course the more expensive machines. But right now I don't need to do that. I really just need to focus on learning how to do it. I think the bigger thing is what embroidery like program I should use because that's that's the next thing because I bought I bought like all the necessary like accessories I just need to get the program. What advice would you give to a new to new sewers? I just I just started dabbing dabbling and I I'm feeling kind of lost but motivated to get into it. Well, I think that's like the first thing you need. You just need the will to do it. I think that if you're really like, like anything in life, I don't, I, I, I'm sorry if I sound cliche or anything like that, but I think like, um, just, just do it once every single day. 
that's what I did when I first started sewing. I started to, I did it every single day for I think it was like, at the time I was uploading YouTube videos every week. So I was, I was on the sewing machine maybe three or four times a week. And I think that's what gets me going. If you keep doing it and telling your, I don't like the word force, but if you get yourself like um, familiar and get yourself, I don't know, I don't know the words, but if you just keep going at it, I think that's the best thing you can do. I would start by just making t-shirts. I made over the time that I've started sewing at least 50 t-shirts. I feel like it's one of those like, you know how you watch a movie and there's like a master and then there's a, or here, another example is like Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. Uh, you just gotta wax on, wax off or make a t-shirt at least 50 times for you to like really understand like how to work your machine how to navigate through the machine, um, just learning about all the different hems, all the different seams. Just just be motivated to learn. I think that's the biggest thing you can take from sewing. Uh, the school I went to used a bro used brother embroidery machine, very reliable brand. That's crazy because I, I, I don't know anything about brother. Well, okay, I lied. I know a couple things about brother but I don't know, I never ever had a brother machine and I don't know why. You guys will see in the uh, video that I'm gonna put out on my YouTube channel, my, my, my unboxing of the machine. That machine's box is massive. Get that needle in there. I think it's the one, oh, uh, you know what I get, need to get is a needle threader. That little thing. I keep forgetting to like buy it. I really need to get one. Cause this is no joke guys. I've, I've been so like spoiled with the automatic needle threader and then mine finally breaks after all these years. And like now I, I'm like, this sucks. <clears throat> For embroidery software wise, in Brilliance is a pretty good and quite affordable compared to the Brandon ones, including Brother. In Brilliance? How, how much is that? If you don't mind me asking. Something that sounds like in Brilliance sounds like a price, price tag. <laughs> That's just my I feel like when I make um, these embroidery videos now, I'm probably just going to give out the file to make the embroidery so people can just remake it themselves. I was thinking about selling, but then, you know, I, I don't know. We'll see. Can't, cannot thread the needle to save my life now. Maybe it's just because I, uh, I just can't do it. Guys, thread the needle. Dang, wow. Maybe I may never start this project. Because, oh, there we go. It's in. That's what she said. Okay. All right. So let me get myself situated. <laughs> what kind of machine do I have? I have a Juki HZL H as in okay you get you guys probably can't hear me HZL HZL G two ten. I've had this machine since two thousand fourteen. It still runs like a beast, and I can say nothing but good things about it because I've never had a problem until the you know, of course the automatic needle threader breaks, but that's inevitable. Well, I guess not inevitable. I'm just like probably not taking care of my machine. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm currently running right now. And I just got another sewing machine and I'm like, 
Where am I gonna put all these sewing machines? <laughs> do you guys have that problem where like you guys are just have so much of machines you're just like where do I put these? Because that's kind of the problem I have, like realistically. Let's put that in there. How do you end a seam? Um, depends on what type of seam. What seam are you talking about? A straight stitch? Um, I don't know. <laughs> if you're talking about any type of stitch, I usually end the seam with a back stitch. There's a little feature on your machine, I don't know if I'll show you. That it's like a little, well, I guess you can't really see. It's after you finish your, um, I don't know if your machine even has this. If, if it does, then that's great. If not, there's the wheel on the side, you can push that backwards. And that's how I would end the seam usually. But since I'm producing clothes for myself, I am super lazy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and I don't do that, but you should. It's good, it's good sewing etiquette and I highly advise you to do so. Uh, I'll do it for this live stream. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and um, sew my collar. Uh, you're welcome, Hope. I am. Pretty sure you got this. If, even if you're even thinking of learning how to sew, that's like the first step, in my opinion. All right, I gotta sew slow because the neighbor downstairs probably doesn't like when I sew really loudly. Alright, So this is like a zigzag straight stitch. It's like a weird. It's a weird stitch that I'm using because it's it's as strong as like I would say a very 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 small straight stitch I'm just gonna go on I'm just gonna go both ways just to just to be sure everything's good Cut off the extra thread. All right. So what I do from here after I make the collar is I usually take the excess. Usually you can just cut this off, but I like to just fold it over and give it a nice sew, and that's. Actually, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I'll fold it over. But I'll fold it over on this side. So it stays down. Oh wait, let's go the other way actually. Do, do, do. Go on the line there. This time I'll do a simple straight stitch. Nothing fancy. Just so we can lock down the extra fabric. color and um, we're gonna go ahead and sew this on later yeah that's what it looks like all right so next next what we're going to do is the sleeve let's see that's not the sleeve let's, let's let me let me oh my gosh my, my microphone I'm so sorry uh, so let's do the sleeves because just, just for the sake of straight stitching, we have the setting on already. Let's just knock this out. This one I don't like doing. Um, a lot of people are gonna wonder why I didn't like, uh, what's it called? Why I didn't iron it or whatever. So this is like a woven, woven material and I don't think that does well <laughs> with the iron. Um, I watched you seventh grade and I'm a senior now. That's that's crazy. I always I always hear YouTubers say that, and they're like I I watch a lot of OG YouTubers, and they always say, or they always talk about in their videos. Yeah, I've been doing this for like ten years, and now people are telling me they started watching me in high school, and now they're like married and have kids. That's like, I'm on that road. That's like surreal to me. 
started YouTube when I was like 19. That's insane. That's insane to me, I don't know. Alrighty, alrighty. Get the straight stitch going. Look up the embroidery software later today and we'll DM you on Instagram. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I'll uh, take a look. Yeah, I've been so busy with getting this embroidery machine that I have not even touched social media. Like that's how, that's how much I've been just like, where's my sewing machine? Uh, and, okay, I keep saying sewing machine because I'm so used to it. Uh, embroidery machine. <laughs> All right. to, to, to the other. So. All right. So that's good. Glad to see me back. <laughs> Started sewing because of you. Well, I'm glad to be back. And thanks for, uh, for dropping by I know it's been a minute <laughs> but I'm back I'm back stronger than ever it's like when you go into uh, or I don't know I don't know I'm just gonna I'm just making a comeback that's for sure that's what it is just making that comeback I'm like so focused right now, like it's not even a joke. Cool. There's the sleeve. So I have the uh, the bottom of the sleeve there. So these sleeves all done. I usually try to knock out the body or I call it yeah the body. Well, I'll just say the bottom piece. I try to knock out that first because this one takes the most time. But. It's, Today I'm doing it like to a completely opposite of what I usually would do, just cause reasons. <laughs> Been watching you since A, but that, yo, that's crazy. Let me let me see. A, but those. What did I used to say? What was what's one of my videos? Let's see. A, but those joggers though. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, t let me know if that I, I still sound sound the same. People have been telling me my voice got like really deep. <laughs> Them joggers though. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh man, how has time changed, man? Maturity is a crazy thing in the world, man. Um, I still run, remember watching those custom cap brim tutorials. Yo, I, I remember making them and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> Cause okay, let me be honest. When I made those videos, I the intention was okay. It was these YouTube videos were more over like me trying to tell myself I can do it, right? If I make a bunch of these videos, I'm gonna learn how to sew. Cause that that time that I was making those videos, I didn't know what I was doing, so I reverse engineered like a lot of the clothing that I made. And a lot of the designs that I decided to like put tutorials on, and that's how it came to me learning a lot about clothing. And my thread broke. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's let's get this fixed. Okay. How how are you guys doing? How are you guys holding up during this uh, strange time in the world? <laughs> Such a strange time. I don't know, like, it's surreal to me that all of this is happening, but at the same time, like, I don't, I don't think I'm surprised. <laughs> like, the world was, it's so funny because uh, if you guys are 
familiar with like uh, video games and whatnot, a game called Resident Evil 3 came out, and that's about like an outbreak, and it's so crazy. Like that game came out, and then this whole situation happened. It's crazy. <laughs> Can't believe that's actually going on right now. Luckily, we don't have zombies, so I'm pretty happy about that. As someone in the professional industry now, it's still a lot of reverse engineering. Yeah, a lot of it is. I feel like that's, oh my gosh, <laughs> I didn't, I mean, my thread just disappeared into oblivion. Yeah, reverse engineering is the way, man. Because if you really want something and you don't have the money for it, and it's a Gucci jacket that, uh, Cost 12000 but you found the same embroidery patches <laughs> on eBay, and then you make your own version of it, or make a, a, a replica of it, excuse me, then um, you basically reverse engineered the design. And I wonder if, uh, I wonder what people's opinions are of the, the word bootleg when, I don't know, I feel like that's, I don't know how people are knocking people for wearing like bootleg, when essentially it's the same thing, but I guess it's because of the branding, it wasn't officially made, I think that's, I think that's what's like limiting why it's so weird, I don't know, that's something that's always been like confusing to me, they look the same, Maybe a little bit of a knockoff, a little like thread here and there, not the same, or the patterns off, but it's essentially the same thing. And you know what I've learned like ever since I've kind of grown up? Clothing is just clothing. <laughs> they have the hottest, craziest designs. It does not define who you are. Make sure that if you're gonna be flexing, Make sure you're flexing with the reason. Because <laughs> uh, clothing does not give you a personality. I've learned that. <laughs> I've learned that from my younger years. <laughs> Be a good person and have good fashion sense, and you've you've you unlocked like the golden achievement. Of fashion. <laughs> All right. It feels like a dream I can't get out of. Yeah, I mean those videos. I can't believe I made those videos. To me, it's still surreal that I'm even doing this. Didn't think years later that I'd still be sewing. Cause like. At one point I was just like, what am I doing? Like I was trying to figure out life. And I really wanted to just do this full time. But I felt like the reality wasn't there. And I know that there's like some people that are able to do this full time. But it's just it's scary. It's scary to think that uh, what if this doesn't all work out? That's what I do. Like how do you how do you think you would I know people are like really hustlers and they're like no, I'll make it work. But still, it's like a scary, it's a scary thought to me. Yeah. What do you do now? Well, I, I guess what I do now is this. <laughs> um, for a little bit, I took a break. I felt like that was necessary for me to kind of humble myself, get myself back to uh, a good place as far as like mindset and you know, I settled down basically. Now that everything's kind of settled, I really just want to go back on my grind, make YouTube videos for fun, and you know, kind of go from there. I don't really expect like much from YouTube because YouTube has always been something that like, I've always wanted to really take seriously, but at the same time, it felt like 
wanted to keep, keep it on the back burner for a little bit until I get my life to hit like hit a point where I'm just like, okay, uh, this is great. <laughs> and then I'll go ham on YouTube. I feel like I have the cap cap capability to do really well. Um, but I feel like there's still a lot more things I need to learn in life before I kind of settle down. I don't know, that's just me speaking out in the, <laughs> out of, uh, speaking out my mind and my mentality. Let's put this back over on the other side. So what I'm doing, if you guys are wondering, I'm just doing a top stitch on the seam I made, the shoulder seam I made. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's get this going. What are you guys going to do this week? I know it's quarantine time, but uh, how are you guys holding down out there? Boom. Alright, time to put on the sleeves. So I gotta make some myself some room. So what I'm going to do is uh, remove my sewing machine a little bit, give it some space around here. Uh, what type of top, what type of stitch was that? It was just a straight stitch, nothing crazy. I really like the fabric you're using. It's a cool fabric, like this is a fabric I got like six months ago. And I never ever decided to um, work on it. I felt like that was during the time where I was like, dude, I don't know about the sewing thing. And then I kind of took a break, hiatus, whatnot, and I got back into it. And I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with how I got back into the swing of it because it's just like very therapeutic and like work kind of gets crazy. <laughs> so I, I get something to do as a break from all that. What you doing now? Uh, what I do shoes. What I do shoes. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, what I do shoes. I have an industrial sewing machine that can handle leather. I could do shoes, but it's. I don't know. It's just it was such a hype for a little bit, and then the amount of work that goes into it. I think that like if I if I really went really ham on YouTube like I really wanted to like this is it YouTube's it this is it I would do it like I I would work on learning how to make <laughs> custom shoes like that would be sick like could you imagine that making a video on custom shoes that would be sick I think that's a pipe dream to me like it's something I do want to eventually get to but I feel like the timing and everything like I want to settle settle down somehow <laughs> in the next two years maybe it's me coming making my comeback to YouTube I don't know um, I do want to settle down so I can have like my own like studio to uh, work on all these projects because I've always wanted to um, have a little studio to myself I mean my old room that I used to shoot my videos in that was like my little studio, but I feel like I want like my own like designated spot for all this madness, all this sewing stuff, just so I can make it like, so make it real to me that I want to do it. I don't know. That's, I'm just saying. Uh, super talented, appreciate it. Uh, I wouldn't say super talented, but I would, 
Uh, I, I'll take the compliment. <laughs> uh, I, I love how mediate, me, meditative. meditative. I can't speak to God today. Like, it's bad. Um, yeah. I, it's, ther- it's very therapeutic, for sure. I think that people that need something in their lives, I think sewing is, like, one of those options that people should have or try to do because it's great (laughs) i feel like there's no reason to be like angry or like i don't know just feeling anything less than positive when you have sewing in the way it's kind of like how people like yoga um yoga is like a calming thing and you can't really be like mad after yoga Like, I remember taking a yoga class with one of my friends back in the day, and I was, like, having, like, a tough time when I was, like, working somewhere, and we went to do yoga, and afterwards, I was like, whoa, I'm a different person. (laughs) I think it was more like, um, something to get my mind off of what was going on, and that's, like, the greatest thing that someone can give as a gift. I'm happy. I'm happy sewing is around. Wow, you know, that's so that's another it's another great thing about sewing because people think it's like a lost craft. And I feel like more people should just sew. I don't think it needs to be like uh, I don't think I don't think it's a problem like a gender thing right now anymore. I know when I started when people like first saw me doing this it was a gender thing, <laughs> not gonna lie, but that didn't stop me because I, I genuinely loved doing it. I met I met I met one of one of my uh, one of my friends that I met in college. He he told me he was a cheerleader, and I thought that was really interesting because um, you don't you don't see that much cheerleaders. Out, well, you do see cheerleaders out there, but. Uh, you just, it's, it just, it's just, you don't see that much male cheer, cheer, cheerleaders out there. He was a cool guy too. So, um, don't, don't, don't knock you till you try it. You don't let anyone knock what you try to try. <laughs> I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So put it on the sleeve. Let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna, like, if I come back to YouTube, what would you guys like? prefer to watch um let's just say (laughs) let's just uh, let's just say tutorial is not on the board as far as videos but like what type of content would you guys be okay watching because i feel like when i come back i I really want to like be aware of what people like watching or if you guys had a series of mine that you enjoyed watching that isn't tutorials it's just tutorials take so much time and I wish I had as much time as I used to, but you know, jug- juggling what I'm juggling in life right now, it's like almost impossible for me to do a full fledged tutorial. If I were to like actually work on a tutorial and then put it out, it's gonna be like months. If I was working at the pace that I I have currently like given to me as far as time. No one does it. In- yeah, well, the whole, the whole, um, it's really hard to explain. I think that, like, when you look at customizing shoes, people are not going to teach other people how to do it. Because it's such a, it's such a unique and, it's such a unique thing to learn. But if everyone learned it, then there's no need for them to there's going to be more competition. And I think that's another thing that why, why people stop doing tutorials because once, if everyone learns, it kind of saturates the market and I want to be real. I want to be like upfront and honest about that. That's, that's another reason why people, I think stop doing real tutorials is because they don't want people, a lot of people to know how to do it. Cause then, you know, it just gets saturated and, there's going to be a day where someone will sur- surpass that person and it kind of defeats the need to have that person doing those videos. 
something I kind of analyzed here on <laughs> YouTube. But as far as like me making tutorials for custom shoes, I think I would I would try to attempt it. But again, I think that's like months of like mastery. I don't think I can make a tutorial on that right off the bat. Like there needs to be some sort of like mastery or like I gotta do like a couple videos trying to do it. But first I need to get my, uh, my, what's it called? My heavy duty sewing machine. It's at my parents' house. I kept it there. My, I, I got a shout out to my mom. She's, she's been hoarding my stuff when I don't even tell her to. And it's crazy cause I should applaud her for that because I always come back and needing it and she has it. So. Shoutouts to my mom. Appreciate the hoarding. Uh, I'm doing good this week. I'm going to take your advice and get in the habit of sewing every day. How, I'm, how am I doing? I am doing like the best I possibly can in the given the scenario of what's going on in the world. Uh, I, I don't know. I just feel good. I think that being able to sew every every week and it's a great thing and yeah i'm just i'm feeling good i'm feeling i'm feeling good um i really advise to like really do that sewing so one thing a day i remember i spent and uh people that i know can vouch for this there was a day where i would just spend all day sewing I would make five t-shirts a day and I would lock myself in my room playing blasting music <laughs> and I would just sew and sew and sew. I always thought sewing was gaining popularity again because of all these Project Runway shows. Um, I wouldn't say it was gaining traction. I think, I think sewing is in a weird spot, okay? With fashion moving the way it does, and I think the way that fast fashion is changing the like the envir or the it's just changing too fast. I think there's no way for us sewers to like keep up. So that's why I feel like a lot of people get discouraged because of that reason. Because could you imagine making a um, you would have to like knit a sweater. And a lot of those like things that people want to make are made with a specific machine. And a lot of us don't have access to those type of machines. That's why I got an embroidery. Look, look how long it took me to get an embroidery machine, man. It's like, these machines are expensive. <laughs> trends, in the, trends in the industry, yeah. Trends are so fast now with you. Know, I'll make a video. Okay. Okay. Let me go. Let me, let me, let's, uh, let's dive deep into, uh, Ken Andrew Daly's mind. So I've been, I've been really, when I was doing YouTube, I was doing, um, I was researching on the next trend, even though it flops as far as like, if people watched it or not, eventually it hits the hits stores and it pops off. Um, there was times when people would always tell me, wow, you really did this before it became popular. I'm not trying to say this for all trends. And sometimes I'm, it's either a hit or miss. But uh, I think that if I try to do that now, it's like impossible because things change so fast. Every season is like every, every, <laughs> every two months. So I think what I want to really focus on is just learning embroidery like that's my next thing i know that it's more on the design aspect of it but just me learning the whole or making mastery out of you know the different fabrics how i should handle all these different fabrics what do i need for this 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 i don't know i it's like i i'm like relearning sewing and it's like a good feeling uh, i'm working on I'm reckoning tutorials on how to make actual clothing patterns would be awesome. Uh, I think that I can do more of those type of videos. I've made, I actually really like making patterns. I think the way that I explain it, it's 
or the way that I can explain these types of videos, it's really hard to me, hard for me, because I, I think one way, and you know, there's many ways to make patterns. Oh wow, I'm gonna put this way. It's like a dead fly right there. Anyways, so there's there's my way of doing things, and then there's the right way of doing things, and there's other ways of doing things. So I gotta be very like. I gotta really, really, really do my research when I make these pattern videos, is what I'm trying to say. So I don't come off as like uh, someone that doesn't know what he's doing, you know? I don't know, that's a fear of mine. I've always wanted to develop like different types of t shirts. You may ask. A t-shirt's a t-shirt. What else can you do with it? Well, that's that's the challenge. <laughs> I remember when I was experimenting with different types of t-shirts, it, it just came to me like, I'm just going to make a t-shirt every single day. But every single day, I'm going to try to make it different. That was like my goal. And if you watch, there was like a certain era on my channel where I would just make t-shirt videos. <laughs> and it was such a, it was such a great time. I enjoyed making those videos. Maybe some people don't like that, but I really enjoyed making those videos. It was so, it was such a great time. Because I would just like, I would just get my doodle book or my scrap, my uh, sketchbook. I would just make random designs. And I'm like, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> it was a good time. Breaking societal stereotypes, we'd love to see it. Yeah, let's look. I, I want to really just jump into it, you know. Hey, love your videos. I'm bad, though. I, I was just heading to bed. No worries. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you have a good, good night of sleep, because uh, lots going on. <laughs> lots going on in the world. I'd be, I'd, be, uh, I'd be losing sleep over what's going on sometimes. I'm like, whoa, people need to relax. To the late night live stream, <laughs> late night Sunday live stream with yours truly. <laughs> I, I felt like if I had a talk show, it would be like everyone gets a song. I don't know how, but they would. I've always wanted to start a sewing club. I don't know how I would do it or how that would work. Like you would go to this club to like sew together, I don't know. <laughs> or talk about sewing. Uh, have you guys ever joined a sewing club? That's that's my curiosity. Going crazy. Going 180. <laughs> Having different t-shirt necklines besides the V-line and standard round neck would be really interesting. Yeah, I've always wanted to play around with that. I don't know what I would do, but I know that it would be refreshing to, to experiment with different necklines. I just don't want it to look tacky. I think that there was a point in time where I was watching my old videos, and I just thought it was really tacky what stuff, some stuff I made. How about this online sewing club? That would be sick. I don't know what we would... I feel like we would just jump on like... I don't know, I'll just have you guys jump on the stream somehow, we'll just video chat and we'll just you'll just have a conversation with me and we'll just kinda go from there. That'd be cool. Oh shoot, I'm not even online. Where's the line at? 
That's why I don't like this material. It's like weird. I want to learn how to sew. Came to the right place. <laughs> what would you like to know about sewing? Let me know. I'll try to spit some wisdom. sleeve. Alright, little, little, little uh, sleeve action done on one side, so let's do the other side. I'm thinking an interesting series would be you revisiting your own videos, not a new tutorial, but let's so talking about approach techniques change. That's definitely something I'm going to be doing. 100%. Like I already have that it's like you read my mind. Like that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. What is a seam allowance and how do you get it? A seam allowance is the distance from the edge to the stitch that you uh, piece two things together. That's what a seam allowance is. In my, in my definition, that's my definition of it. I don't know the formal definition of it, but I just know that that's what it is. It's just the distance from the edge of the fabric to your stitch. So when they say there's a half an inch seam allowance, so here's the edge here. I don't know if you can see that. All right, let me put this up to you. Here's the edge here. Say that you want to bring it half an inch. It's like right there, possibly. I, I, my eyes are. I programmed my eyes to have a ruler in it. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I want to make a backpack. I I made a backpack. That, was, that video was like a long time ago though. I don't even know if all the links to make the pattern is still active. I gotta find the patterns or I gotta remake it or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely do like videos like that where I re revisit my old, my old, <laughs> my old videos and be like, what what is going on? Or I'll just like kind of critique myself. I think that would be cool, cool thing to do, because I think I've done a lot of videos, and I think all my old videos are cringe, so it's like great content. Um, well, measure it. Well, I mean, it depends, it depends, you can't, there's no right seam allowance in my opinion. It really depends on how much allowance <laughs> you have for the seam. Like, if you if you made, um, let's say that you cut something out, and you cut out more than you need for it to fit properly, then you wanna you wanna use that measurement to kind of cover the cover the the um, excess. I think that's one way to go about it. I hope this sleeve comes along really well. <laughs> what do you what are, what else what, what else have you guys been watching right now? In my in my uh in my absence, what type of what what YouTube channel have you guys been watching a lot? Kind of interesting, so I can check it out and see what the community is all about. <laughs> all right, let's let's roll this fabric out so it's. like a curve. That's what I don't like about this fabric. I don't like any I don't like any fabric that, that rolls in. That's a struggle. Okay. What is this? It's rolling. The cash rolling. rolling. Okay, let's fix this. Over because it's 
not as detached. All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I think my goal is to like try to get the sleeves on and then I'm gonna try to finish this long sleeve the next live stream just because of time right now. And I didn't realize what time it was when I uh, when I just checked right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish this sleeve, answer some last minute questions, just cause uh, I gotta get going too, as everyone else, cause I feel like some people are on the, the later side of the night right now. I'm learning how to do embroidery. Yeah, embroidery is gonna be sick, I can't wait. I just gotta wait for all my threads. Uh, talk custom and the baby, bo the baby booty is embroidery tutorials. That's interesting. I might have to take say, take a look. Shoot. I really don't like how this is. The way that it is. <laughs> it's like a weird fabric. would work because <laughs> I'm sewing like a half an inch out so let's give it a shot why is this folded I am now talking to myself <laughs> do you guys ever get to that point of sewing that like you get so exhausted you start talking to yourself like you're talking to yourself in third person like Ken why are you doing that that's how you know, guys, I'm getting, like, super tired. <laughs> I'm watching America starting to say... I'm watching America starting to say boycott from China, so they'd be looking for clothes made in America. Um, that's interesting. I don't know. Making clothes in America, I mean... Making clothes for myself now is like a, it's a task. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm, I lie. I make, majority of the clothes I wear now is, cl or yeah, majority of the clothes I wear out now is all clothes I've pretty much made. With the exception of like a few like <laughs> Hanes jackets. I want to make a jacket. That's what I should learn how to make. Maybe I'll do a video on a jacket. I think I've made a jacket before, but... That video is not good. I'm gonna make a better video. <laughs> or at least me trying to make a jacket. I think that's like the next video idea. All right, let's just make this very casual sleeve. They said it would be fun. Can you make a new backpack tutorial? Maybe a different design? Uh, maybe. I think that that's like something I want to like revisit. I think that it's not going to be as good as I want it to be, but I'll give it another shot. <laughs> I gotta watch my old video to figure out how to make a backpack. It's been like years. Yeah, I'm liking the embroidery. I just drew a logo on PE design and it came out just like I drew it. That's pretty sick. I heard about PE design. I might give that a shot. All right. Whew. That's crazy. I sewed on the sleeve. And we in business. Yeah. Um, let's see if we... Oh, uh, maybe I'll just... Okay, the last thing I'll do is put on the collar. I at least owe you guys that. Let me just put on the collar and then I'm going to call it a day. I'm surprised you're not even making you're you're not making masks. I was, and I'm probably gonna make some masks uh, for family and uh, whoever uh, decides to ask me. Um, as far as family and friends, but yeah, I'm not I'm not that.
crazy about making masks just because uh, everyone's making masks and people are like, uh, do you guys need a mask? And I'm like, nope, I can just make my own. But yeah, it's it's a serious thing going on in in the world. You need a mask. Mask on, mask off. I really like your bomber jacket tutorial. Thank you. Um, that video is dedicated to my grandma. Uh, she was like a big inspiration on, on me sewing. I think that without her like presence in my life, like I would never have thought to even go this direction. So, you know, RIP to my grandma. And what's so funny about that bomber jacket that you saw in that video? <laughs> my sister has that or I think she still has that I gave it to her um, I have no clue if she like gave it away already I have no clue where it's even at <laughs> but maybe if you live in San Diego <laughs> it's somewhere somewhere <laughs> somewhere out there at a thrift store that my sister gave it away <laughs> Go find it. You have an absolute gem of a jacket. Alright. Do do do. The collar is like the most annoying part, but you gotta, you gotta, like the most annoying things in life, you gotta keep doing it. Because that's how you uh, get it to not be so annoying. I wonder why like okay I'm not I'm just I'm just I'm just thinking out loud but I wonder what like a TED talk from me would sound like <laughs> like could you imagine hearing a TED talk from me or like a university talk I don't know what would that be like it'd be like hey but that TED talk no <laughs> no I'm just kidding I would never say that a TED talk they would kick me out right away TED Talk is so close to TikTok, it's so scary. I don't know if you guys noticed that TED Talk, t TikTok. There's some correlation there. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Nick, on t-shirts? Definitely need a lesson on that. A trench coat? Trench coats? Uh, def definitely not the season for me for trench coats. But I do want a trench coat. I love trench coats. I got the sick um, trench coat from H&M like a while back and I wear it almost all the time so I definitely might just go into making a trench coat even if it ends up looking trash <laughs> I don't know how to make a trench coat but I will give it a shot by the way guys um just just shout out shout outs real quick to my fiance she did my hair um <laughs> quarantine hair hashtag quarantine hair uh, I think she did a really good job um, quarantine hair keep in mind she doesn't even do hair let alone I don't think she does hair like that at all <laughs> but she did a good job um, but sometimes if I'm looking kind of uh, off <laughs> just know that it's a work in progress <laughs> I think I split this out a little. So the weird thing about me is like I don't like everything in my like <laughs> I don't like my clothing to be so formal. Like I, it's okay if like one sleeve is shorter than the other sleeve, just by like a tat like not not really noticeable. But I'm not very like I'm not, I'm not like a perfectionist. That's what I'm trying to say. So if this looks kind of off. <laughs> it's okay. As long as I can put it on, it doesn't look that crazy off. Let's see. Gotta put this together. Civic backwards is civic. Yo, that's like race car. <laughs> <laughs> race car is race car backwards. For the longest time, my friend would tell me that. They're like, did you know that race car? Or, yeah. Do you know that race car is race car backwards? And I'm like, yo, <laughs> relax. Did you 
<laughs> Chill with those, man. Not ready. The OG video I remember from you is how you how to pinroll jeans. <laughs> Yo, I don't even remember that video. <laughs> Yo, the video. <laughs> Yo, that video is kind of trash. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna admit it. <laughs> I'm gonna repin this because uh, I don't think my neckline's even long. Like, how come it feels like when I okay, let me let me backtrack. I made I cut these fabric I cut I cut this fabric out like almost I would say like almost half a year ago. So I don't even know if this collar even fits this <laughs> this t-shirt. <laughs> oh man, guys, that's how you know I'm I'm back in action. When you know I can't even like, I can't even trust myself on the pattern cutting. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you make a pattern and you feel so proud of it and it's trash. <laughs> it's straight garbo. Okay. I think I'm just talking out of my butt now. <laughs> 2020 man, crazy. What, what the heck is this neckline? What is this neckline? <laughs> I'm doing, so that's probably why you're like all confused. Quarantine, quarantine. Quar hashtag quarantine. I'm not a perfectionist either. The clothes I make are, are off. Most don't notice. What's so it's the what's the greatest thing is like when you make a when you make something and someone says oh where'd you get that and they're like oh I made it and they're like oh that looks so good but like in reality you know all the flaws on it 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 hits home man it hits home it home hits home pretty good all right I'm probably not gonna this is. The most difficult neckline I've ever made in my life, guys. It's not matching up. <laughs> How do you make a pattern? Do you buy and go measure off, go off measurements, or cut a piece of your clothing like a shirt and make a pattern? Um, I think in the beginning I did that, but now it's like anything goes. Like <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> anything goes. Like I. I like envision what I want to make and I just have my body measurements like in mind of course before I start making these things but yeah it's a lot of the time when I make stuff especially nowadays it's it's purely off like why is this so messed up man it's purely off just like guesstimating which I think I've just gotten to that point where I'm able to. It's kind of scary that I, I'm able to, but yeah, that's where I'm kind of at. But if you're starting off, of course, using patterns that are pre-made are, are good to learn from, and then you can kind of branch out after that. But... You can also make patterns simply by just looking at t-shirts and recon reconstructing the t-shirt and then, you know, kind of copying the pattern from that point on. That's another way to do it. There's a lot of ways. I don't think that there's one specific way. I know there's a formal way, <laughs> what they teach what they teach in like school. But there's also other ways that people are have developed like if you watch a lot of like sewing YouTubers, some are really, really, really formal. Some are really, really, <laughs> a lot of freestylers like myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it just really depends on how you want to approach it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Me, I kind of just, um, I just, I just kind of go for it. <laughs> uh, 2020 started rough. Hopefully this summer is better. I want to hit, I want to hit Cali Fabric Swap. Yo, I can't wait to hit the freaking swap meet, man. I'm about to buy all the hottest fabrics. When I say hot, 
literally hot. Like, San Diego is too hot for any of the fabrics I usually buy. And in the summertime is when it's like, why do I even buy these fabrics? Can I wear half of these? But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. How the heck did I do this? Guys, guys, who made this? Why did you, why did no one stop me from making, cutting these fabrics, man? <laughs> this, this neckline is no joke. I wish you could guys see the struggle I'm dealing with right now, but I'm too embarrassed to show anyone. <laughs> All right, I think this is it. I think I think we got it. What's your favorite thing that you've made? I think overall, my favorite thing that I've made hands down was the bomber jacket. Um, and it's not because of how cool and sick it looks. It was just because like, dang, I made that. Like, <laughs> I I finished the jacket and I was like, I made that. It's it's like a it's, it's like a a weird feeling <laughs> and when I was watching the video back when I was editing the video or that video I was like I made that I don't know guys it's that's all all-time favorite and I think that's the most one of my most viral videos if or I guess viral tutorials I don't know I don't know if it's most viral I haven't been looking at my channel like that I just know that some videos went viral for whatever reason and I'm super grateful <laughs> even though it's I'm just like a, a regular guy just messing around <laughs> uh, I'm such a procrastinator I need to get back on the one thing a day roll it's such yo I'm not gonna lie it's such a struggle hello I'm from Chicago so we got four seasons yo what are those seasons man like I need to know We all put this neckline on. Okay. I think this is it. I think this is it. This is going to be perfect. I'm going to be so happy. Okay, why is this? Hold up, hold up. Why are you playing games? We going at it. Boom. When the, when the pressure foot comes down, you know it's real. It's about to happen. <sighs> Wait, should I? Yeah, screw it. <laughs> Let's go. Neckline. It's gonna take a while because I'm sewing slow. I'm on the, the half half speed. I'm new too. Have you ever sewn something for a friend? Totally messed up the measurements and messed up the piece. Uh, I think I've I've been like lucky to not mess up a piece. I've made things for friends before. A lot of a lot of the clothing that I make now I'm very like I'm pretty spot on on how to like make it. I don't think I've ever had like a miss yet, which I'm again fortunate that it never happened yet. But I'm usually very careful. It's just like I think the only times that I mess up is when it's made for when I'm trying to make something for myself. Which is pretty funny. But when it comes to other people, I'm very careful. talking to us yes I am I definitely am make some overalls I, I might have to I have a sewing machine never used it now it's time to learn sewing hey let me tell you you about to you about to come out of this this uh, quarantine knowing everything about sewing let me tell you you got someone if you got if you got the time of course <laughs> I know some people are still uh, still doing it still uh, going to work and whatnot I have a sewing machine, but I return my table because I needed money. <laughs> Yo, the struggle's real, man. I only have one table in my like place, so I take off everything on my table just to use the, 
Use my sewing machine. Otherwise, I'll be in the same place as you, buddy. I'll be on the floor. Alright, I gotta actually switch this out some more. Because Homeboy is about to not have a good color. If I don't remove this. Yo, this is about to be the hottest sweater of 2020. Now I'm gonna lie, hottest sweater. And I'm not talking about fashion. I'm talking about heat. <laughs> this looks like I'm like I'm like touching the sweater right now, guys, and it's warm. This is like a wool material, by the way. It's a cotton or a wool cotton, maybe. I'm like, yeah, it's a wool cotton. It's stuff you make sweaters out of. Okay, I'm making my way around the neckline. Going slow because I don't want to mess up. Da -da -na 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 -na. Alright. I can go from wearing coats, hoodies, and then shorts. Yo, in San Diego, we wear we wear jackets with shorts. Like that's our weather. So if you come out come out to uh, San Diego and uh, somehow you spot me, you can spot me in a hoodie and shorts. Don't ask why, it's just the season man. That's how it is. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm in Alaska. Mostly winter all year. Yo, I want to go to Alaska. It sounds sounds crazy. I've i okay. I lied. I've been to Alaska when I went on a cruise with my family, like when I was younger. But we didn't go. We didn't step out of our cruise. We just. We just looked at Alaska. <laughs> it's one of those um, things that like my parents were like, we're already on the cruise. Why would we want to get off? You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's just that's just how it is, man. But I do want to go to Alaska. Like it sounds like a fun, like cool place, literally cool place to go. <laughs> uh, Miami, yo, that's another place I want to go. I don't I don't know what goes on in Miami. It just Every time I hear about anything Miami, this sounds like a lot of fun. So, that's also a place I want to go. It's much different than city dirty snow. What does that mean? <laughs> Teach. Don't worry, these videos are about to be crazy. I'm gonna show, I wanna do some like, uh, reaction videos to my old videos. <laughs> it's about to be crazy. stitch to uh, knock it out. Let's do our top stitch. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right, I gotta stop being annoying. Do -do 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 -do. Dude, that song is crazy. First time I watched uh, is it White Chicks is what it's called the movie. And then uh, I think it's what's this, Terry Crews. Terry Terry Crews. I think that's his name. Um, by the way, it's your favorite guy on uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> um, yeah, that song can never get out. Of, get out of my head. Da -da 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 -da. me sensei oh man I'm gonna tell you I gotta start teaching myself first I think I'm, I'm like the guy below sensei and below like the student <laughs> I don't know what that is or what could that could be oh the hottest as it's hot in Arizona oh don't it oh crazy okay I'm not gonna talk about Arizona I remember I visited Arizona for the first time 
Yo, I was just like, okay, this is this is different. It is kind of different. Da na 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 na. <laughs> show you guys real quick the the product so far um, that's the collar that's what it looks like on me <laughs> uh, I'm gonna finish the uh, long sleeve in the next live stream I'm just gonna kind of look at the chat real quick before I get going um, it was a real fun time <laughs> hanging out with you guys as always it's a I'm I've been I've been really lazy and I've been trying to get it going earlier in the day as far as Sunday but maybe next week I'll have more luck but let me go read the comments when you wear it does he popsicles win-win yo what the heck uh, struggle is real what do you think about people making masks for the virus they make, they make us so fancy but you do have to wash it I don't know I think people are reusing the same mask and not washing it so Mm, that that's more of a concern to me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, fashion masks, hey, to each their own. I don't judge another person or their hustle. Uh, I don't know who said that, but I heard someone say that, and it's like, it's a good, it's a good quote. Uh, I bought a surgery look, look weird looking machine. That's that's crazy. <laughs> In Chicago, we wear coats and with coats. I believe that. Uh, what time is it? It's time for me to get going. <laughs> I'm scared of, this, scared of my surgery. Yeah, scared of the surgery looks crazy, man. Do you sell what I make? I possibly could. Um, I'm good with computers, not sewing machines. Hey, I'm on the same page, man. I uh, love the colors and the material. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's about to be a good one. What are you making? I just joined. I'm making a long sleeve t-shirt. You actually catch the end of the stream, so... <sighs> Uh, we've always tell everyone we have a dry cold, but much different. That is true. I gotta, I gotta visit these places. But anyways, um, I usually start doing these like 8 p.m. PST. But next, next Sunday, I'm gonna really try. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to try to do it by like 3 p.m. my time. So that's West Coast time. So, so PST. So on the East Coast, that should be three hours. So like 6 p.m. But yeah, guys, um, I gotta get going. I know. Oh dang, 12, 12, 40, Okay, I, I can't, I can't keep some people up. I know people got work. But anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Follow me on the Instagram. Next week, we go and finish this, this, uh, this, this, this hot mess, literally. Um, next time and follow me on the instagrams i know i don't post that much but you can dm me and i'll try to get back to you asap asap rocky i don't have any other social media right now so just follow me on instagram that's the easiest way hit that subscribe button um does people still say that i don't know uh but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next live stream it's been real it's been fun you guys are the chillest people i know that uh, actually you guys are probably the only chillest people i know <laughs> anyways uh peace out everybody say say bye to each other because we all are family in this anyways um catch you guys in the next live stream bye